Hello guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to make a Bluetooth controlled LED strip with Arduino. So let's get started. Here is our Arduino Nano and this is Bluetooth module. The model is HC05. TX pin of the model is connected to RX pin of Arduino and RX pin of module is connected to TX pin of the Arduino Nano. 5V pin or VCC pin of module is connected to 5V pin of Arduino. Ground pin of the module is connected to ground. And also ground pin of Arduino is connected to ground. V in pin of Arduino is connected to plus 12 volt. Now we need three digital pins. I'll use D3, D5 and D6. And then we need three resistor. These are 1 kilo ohms. And then we need NPN transistor. Three of them. The collector of the transistor is connected to ground. The emitter is connected to R pin of the LED strip and then G pin and then B. I am using common anode 12 volt LED strip. Now this is the blue pin, green pin and red pin ok. And the black pin is positive. So if I draw like this, as you can see here, this one is green, red and blue. So this blue, this red and this green and this pin, this black pin is connected to plus 12 volt, ok. The transistor I am using is BD139. Now see the pin diagram of the transistor. This is our transistor and this is the front side of the transistor and this is the back side. Now if you keep it like this, then this pin is base, the middle one is collector and this one is emitter. So this is the pin diagram of BD139. As I am using here common anode, if you want to use common cathode, then you should apply here ground and with the collector you have to connect plus 12 volt. Now there is a problem in this connection, the RXTX. See here, the RX level is 3.3 volt, but from the Arduino, it will get 5 volt signal. So we have to make this signal from 5 volt to the 3.3 volt. We will do this with voltage divider circuit. Now see the formula of voltage divider. Here, V out is equal to V in multiplied by R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Here I will use R1 as 1 kilo ohm and R2 as 2.2 kilo ohms. Now see whether we are getting 3.3 volt or not. V out equal to here V in is 5 volt because the signal level is 5 volt. Here R2 equal to 2.2 kilo ohms it means 2200 divided by 1000 ohm plus 2200 it means 3200. So we will get here 0000 11 16 so it will be 55 divided by 16. It is 3.437 so we can take it as 3.44 so we can take it as 3.4 volt. We need 3.3 volt but we are getting 3.4 volt but this will be okay for us. Now see the voltage divider circuit here it is V in and two resistors and then it is connected to ground here it is r1 and r2 this is 1 kilo ohms and this one 2.2 kilo ohms and from this point we will take v out our v out is 3.4 volt with respect to ground and our v in is 5 volt so our collector circuit will be here we need one resistor and another resistor is connected here and then it is connected to ground. 
its value is 2.2 kilo ohms and here 1 kilo ohms now let's see this on the breadboard put arduino nano then put 1 kilo ohm resistor and with this 2.2 kilo ohm resistor is connected and other side of the resistor is connected to ground now put the bluetooth module 1 kilo ohm resistor is connected to tx pin of arduino and other side of the 1 kilo ohm is connected to rx pin of bluetooth module ground pin of the module is connected to the ground the 5 volt pin of module is connected to 5 volt pin of arduino and ground pin of arduino is connected to ground rail tx pin of module is connected to rx pin of arduino v in pin of arduino is connected to positive rail now put all the transistor now connect 1 kilo ohm resistor to the base of the transistor the middle pin is collector and it is connected to ground now see here this transistor is for red led this one is for green and the last one is for blue led so this is for r this is for g and this is for b so d3 is connected to resistor r d5 is connected to resistor g and d6 is connected to resistor b as our circuit is completed now connect our led strip this is the four connections of led strip so i'm connecting blue wire to the blue pin green wire to the green pin and red wire to the red pin as we need 12 volt positive so i'm connecting yellow wire to the black pin so this will be connected to plus 12 volt and rest are connected to all the emitters now it is connected now in this rail i'll apply plus 12 volt this is the first transistor this is the second one g and this is last one the blue led now connect both the positive rail so this is how we have completed our circuit now whenever we upload the program we need to disconnect the rx pin and tx pin from the arduino and now it's time to upload the program for this we need to add one library go to sketch include library and here is our software serial and this is the full program and if you want you can ignore this part okay okay now upload the program now the program is uploaded after uploading the program we need to install one app in our mobile go to play store and then type RGB LED controller ok and then install this color LED controller installed now open it now connect the power supply here is our 12 volt positive and here is the negative okay now as you can see this led is blinking very fast so it means no bluetooth device is connected with this module now turn on bluetooth now go to bd list and look for hc05 now now it is showing bt connected and you can see here the bluetooth led is blinking slowly so this means it is connected with your mobile now touch any color let's say green blue you can select any color from this wheel or you can control your brightness from here or select your color 
okay so this is how it works so guys this is all for today i hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video i'll show you another topic till then stay happy and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching